there, fellow homo sapien. Are you looking for a cool place to hang out? Are you looking for a place to spend your time because you have no life just like the rest of us? Well, come on down to Hardy's Cafe, a new Discord designed just for an amazing viewer like yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description to join the server and enjoy the video. These are the shoutouts of my previous video. These amazing people found the pear emoji. Elongated Furby said, Me, aggressively looking for the pear. Eyes emoji. Eyes emoji. Eyes emoji. Eyes emoji. Eyes emoji. Eyes emoji. Pear. Shows up at 5 minutes and 38 seconds. Me. Peekaboo. I see you. Oh god, I can't see that from here. No! <gasps> okay. Munchy Beanie said, 5 minutes and 38 seconds. Vow this vow. I, Hearty McSmarty, am one of the most all oh, the freaking amazing people ever on the platform we call YouTube. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Munchie. You're beautiful. I appreciate that so much. I love you. Thank you for finding the pair emoji and commenting on a beautiful comment. Midnight Fire said, 5 minutes and 38 seconds. I love your channel. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. I just realized now I didn't heart your comment and I'm so sorry, but thank you. Here are some shout outs to these beautifully talented artists because you guys are my fan art and I love you. Thank you, Brownie, Luna, Sprout, and Catsphere. Cats Perry, Cats, Cats, If you'd like to submit fan art, please submit it in my fan art channel within my Discord or tag me at HardMixMarty on Twitter. If you guys would like a shout out in my next video, be sure to look for the virus emoji somewhere on screen. Comment the timestamp when you find it, along with a message or something you might want me to say. And you may be one of three people I shout out. Another quick set of shout outs to Hello Alyssa and Royalty underscore Productions. Thank you for being a part of our notification squad. You guys kind of need a name, so like, comment a notification squad idea name, I'll pick my favorite one, and if you guys want, you could like, comment with the one that you like, and maybe that'll be a thing as well. <laughs> with that out of the way, please enjoy the video. Hey there everyone, my name is Ernie, and welcome back to your daily dose of drama video. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So a recent outbreak that's been going around the internet is the controversy of the character Corona-chan. Recently, multiple cosplayers have been cosplaying Corona-chan and the community isn't too happy about it. I believe the initial cosplayer who started the trend was put under serious fire for it, and since then the cosplay community has been very heated about this shit. I promise this is Yonder Simulator related, I just gotta provide some background information, alright? It's okay, chill, chill your ass, just sit down for a second, buddy. The original character design for Corona-chan contains virus hair clips, small bat wings based on the theory that a uh, bat caused the coronavirus sometimes a face mask she is dressed in a traditional chinese dress this is where people got upset <laughs> many claim the character is racist and frankly i agree many cosplayers spoke out about her on twitter including yaya han i don't really know cosplayers but she's the kind of now, I agree with many others on the fact that Corona-chan is racist and completely disgusting. Sure, I get people blame China for the pandemic, but honestly, mocking their culture like this is definitely not okay in the slightest. The character could have been designed differently, but they decided to wear traditional Chinese wear for the cosplay. Now, I understand the fact that, that the COVID-19 virus did start in China, but that is an excuse for this sort of mockery. The state of this pandemic isn't a joke, and there's people out there meeting the shit out of this character. A character based on a horrible situation that is keeping people at home, cancelling worldwide events, and putting people's lives in danger. Now, a couple of videos back, I talked about Alex Mahan and his game Yonder is Simulator. <sighs> okay, whatever. Now, I know some people were not quite happy with my opinion on the man behind the game and his creation itself. While I don't quite like Alex and wish he would just put Osan in the game instead of putting pointless debug easter eggs that won't even remain in the final version of Yandere Simulator, I will honestly say that he made one of the biggest oopsies as of late. So what's the problem, you may ask? On the 10th of April 2020, Alex released a new bug fix build, which is pretty much the same as every other build because he always fixes bugs and that's about it. Most of this bug was about the alphabet killer challenge, I don't know why any of this is relevant, which in itself is a challenge where you kill all NPCs in order of the name. Wow, fucking amazing. This build also has bug fixes and at the bottom of the list of fixes, this message was displayed. With the Ebola mode active, I don't know why this is an easter egg either, press the V key 10 times to change your appearance. Why, why 10 times? You have to push the V key. 10. That, I, I messed up my script, hold on. <laughs> like, seriously, man, it's messed. What the fuck? Now, players tested this out because whatever this was was completely vague, and it turns out Corona Chan had been implemented into the game. Alex, what the hell is the matter with you? While I understand this is just an Easter egg, 
Guys, this feature is completely not okay. He's taken the Ebola Chan debug mode and changed the appearance of it to look Chinese. What? Now, the Ebola Chan shouldn't be a debug mode as is, but this is definitely not okay in a worldwide pandemic. Not to mention that if you run by a student as Corona Chan, you murder them instantly. I gotta hold on, I gotta know. From the looks of the design, Corona Chan has a traditional Chinese dress on just like the cosplay. Okay, are you joking with me here? While the while the coronavirus did initially spread to China, they could have found another design options for this character, like I'm lose my mind. And I find it completely racist and controversial to add something like this into his game. Many of you guys were not happy about the implementation of Corona Chan. It honestly mocks the Chinese culture in this game. Well, more than the Japanese, but whatever, Yandere Dev is stupid and doesn't understand the country, but neither do I, so who cares? I'm sure Yandere Dev is running out of Easter egg ideas, but this is completely disgusting. I honestly don't understand if he finds this funny, or the fact that people around the world are getting sick and having risk of death phases him completely. I'm sure the man never leaves his house, so quarantine isn't a big deal to him, but shit, they've literally rain-checked the Olympics, sports events, etc. I've had friends who were pissed off that E3 was getting cancelled. We're literally experiencing history in the making, people, and what does Yonder Dev do? He implements a racist easter egg. I'll now read aloud some of your guys' opinion on this implementation to the game. Yonder Dev needs to freaking chill. We just don't know something in the game, dude. I get adding the hair clips and bat wings that's part of the meme side of the pandemic, but adding the Chinese dress, that part is in a good move. Okay, honest opinion, I think that it's just bait, so to speak. He's losing a lot of attention, and also, if he doesn't have some degree of negative attention, he can't use his always excuse of, I'm getting hate, or it could be a distraction from something else he did, I didn't know. In many comments of many videos critical of him, him, people said it would be tasteless and they'd be angry if he did exactly this, and I honestly think he's baiting here. It's super tasteless, yeah, and racist. He's legit disgusting. He also added Ebola Chan years ago. I know, and that's completely not okay either. It's literally racist, Lamau. It's just as bad as people calling it the Chinese virus. It would have been a different story if the outfit was themed around Doctor or a generic anime outfit to fit the game theme. With Ebola Chan, it was fine because it, it was just a generic nurse outfit. This is way different because it's dressed in a traditional Chinese outfit. Just because it's a joke doesn't mean it's not racist. Bruh, it's a petty joke. Just because it has bad taste doesn't mean it's directly intended to be malicious or racist, I swear to god. Now look, you guys don't have to agree with everything I say in videos, or what people think about this. You're like, you're allowed to have your own opinions. Um, especially this one. There's nothing wrong with thinking it's a joke because I'm pretty sure the whole internet intended to be a stupid meme. But some people are finding it racist, some aren't, and that's completely okay. I just don't agree with it. But thank you for your comments, guys. I appreciate you guys being in my video. So, hi. <laughs> I honestly don't get why this is funny to people, like, what? <laughs> this man has the audacity to add in a racist easter egg while not thinking how the community may react, and yet still hasn't released Osana. <laughs> this man's brain is the size of a peanut for Trump's sake. Jesus, man, I can at this point. Fuck it, the, the video's over. I'm getting up, we're leaving. Okay, okay, what's worse is that kids watch and play this game. Yeah, no surprise. <laughs> but kids can be naive and find this stupid easter egg entertaining. This year has been completely garbage, honestly. Who else said 2020 was going to be their year? Yeah, I did too, fam. <laughs> now, I have nothing against China, and I get that there's lots of theories out there that, about the virus, but being racist because people believe that the Chinese government started the virus? I honestly question what is wrong with people these days. It's really sad. I just find it funny how mad people are that Alex put this in his game. Now, honestly, this character is a disgusting attempt at a joke during these times. I find it 100% not funny in the slightest, besides that Alex was stupid enough to implement it into his game. But with that said, thank you guys for tuning into the situation. I honestly hope you guys are all safe at home and that your family and friends are healthy during these times. Please take necessary precautions to keep yourself and others safe. Comment down below your guys' views on the topic. I love to hear what you guys' opinions are on this situation. Be sure to join my Discord, which can be found in the description, and check out my community tab for updates and to vote on future video topics. If you're up for it, feel free to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more quality content. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.